everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet a beautiful shells blanket in only one color. In my previous video, I did it in two colors, and I had several comments asking me about how to do it in one color. So I decided just to do a video to show everyone. Please check out the description box for additional information. Thank you for watching, and let's get started! You can use any yarn and hook you like for this pattern. Today I'll be using an H 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, a worsted weight acrylic yarn by Red Heart, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to sew in my ends. To begin, create a slip knot and chain four. One, two, three, four. This chain four will count as our first double crochet and chain one. Now we're going to double crochet in our very first chain, right down here. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. Chain one and double crochet again into that same space. We're going to continue chaining one and double crocheting into that same space until we have a total of eight posts in this space. So including that first chain at the beginning. I have four so far. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to chain one and continue double crocheting. There's five, chain one. Six, chain one, seven, chain one, and eight. Chain one lastly, just so you can slip stitch to the top of your very first chain to finish the round. So we have two, four, six, eight. To begin round two, you're going to slip stitch into the space between your first two double crochets. So of course that chain at the beginning was our first double crochet, so we're just going to insert a hook, grab our yarn and pull it through and through for a slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and this will count as our first double crochet. We're going to place six more double crochet into that same space. So we'll have a total of seven double crochet. I have three, four, five, six, seven. This pattern is a repeat of two rows. You're going to have your framework round and your shell round. Now the framework round are these V stitches and you will see how they become V stitches the further we go. And then this is our very first shell that we just created with these seven double crochets. Into the next chain one space, you're going to single crochet. So insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops for the single crochet. Go into the next space and we're going to place seven double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to continue in this fashion all the way around. Into one space, we're going to place a single crochet. And into the next space, we're going to place seven double crochet. So we should have four of these shells total when we finish this round. I'm going to let you continue. You're going to place seven double crochet into the next space, then a single crochet, and then seven double crochet into the following. And to end, we're going to do a single crochet. Here I am at the end of round two, and I just have that last single crochet to complete. When you've completed that, go ahead and slip stitch to the top of your original chain. 
So that's what that looks like. We now have four single crochet and four shells. Next, we're going to do a framework round. So this is round three that we'll begin, and these are all V stitches. To begin, you're going to chain four right from that slip stitch. One, two, three, four. This will count as our first double crochet and chain one of the first V stitch. Next, we're going to double crochet back down into this very last single crochet. So yarn over and just go right back and insert your hook into that single crochet. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop for your three loops on your hook for the double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that's our very first V stitch. Now chain three, one, two, three, and place another V stitch into that very same single crochet. So one double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same space. So now we have, basically this is gonna be our corner. So it's gonna be turned. Once you, we get going, you can see how that looks. So we have a V stitch, a chain three, and a V stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip over this next shell and place two V stitches separated by a chain three into this next single crochet. So our first V stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and a second V stitch into that same space. Chain five to skip over your next arch. One, two, three, four, five. And then repeat what we just did, placing two V stitches into the next single crochet. And of course they are separated by a chain three. I'll let you complete this round. You just have two more chain fives and another set of V stitches right here in our last single crochet. At the end of round three, slip stitch to the top of your original chain. So there is our very first framework round complete. So now we're gonna do more shells slip stitch into the center of your very first V stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Place six more double crochet into that very same space. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, so I have two, four, six, seven, if I'm counting that first chain. Single crochet into the middle of this ch next chain three. Then place seven double crochet into your next V-stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, we're going to anchor this chain five that we have here. And in order to do that, we're going to single crochet into the fourth double crochet of the previous shell. So in this shell right here. To do that, go ahead and insert your hook from the front to the back, grabbing your yarn and looping over that chain five and make a single crochet. So just like that. Then in your next V-stitch, we're going to place seven double crochet. 
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this chain three, you're going to single crochet, just like we did at the beginning over here, and then seven more and double crochet in the next V-stitch. There's four for me, five, six, and seven. Now here we are at another chain five. So we're going to do the same thing that we just did over here, and we're going to anchor that chain five by single crocheting into that fourth double crochet of the previous shell. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you complete this round. You're just going to be repeating what we just did. Seven double crochet in each V-stitch. Into the chain threes, you're going to place a single crochet. And over these chain fives, you're also going to anchor them with another single crochet. At the end, you can slip stitch, but I will see you in just a minute. Here I am at the end of round four, and I'm just slip stitching to my original chain. So from here, you can see our blankets kind of taking shape. These are going to be our corners, and then we have these side spaces. So into our corners, we're going to always have a double V-stitch. So these two V-stitches separated by a chain three. Those are going to always be in the corners. Now in the side spaces, we're going to always have more multiplying side spaces. So right now we only have one, but the next two rounds we're going to have two and it's just going to grow from there. So these rows will just repeat until our blanket is as large as we like. I'm going to do four more rounds with you just so you get a really good hang of this. So we're going to chain four right from that slip stitch. One, two, three, four, and double crochet into that last single crochet. And that will be our first V stitch. Now because it's a side stitch, we're just going to have one V stitch there, and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and here's our very first corner. So we're going to go ahead and place two V-stitches and a chain three. So there's my first V-stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and the next V-stitch in the same space. So that's what that looks like. We're just going to continue this all the way around, chaining five over our shells. And into each side single crochet, we're going to place just one V stitch. And then over here in our corner single crochets, we're going to be placing the double V stitch and the chain three. So I'm going to let you continue this round and I will meet back up with you at the end. Slip stitch to the third chain at the beginning to complete the round. Now this is what round five looks like when it's all finished for me. I have four side V stitches and eight corner V stitches. Now we can begin round six, slip stitch into the center of your first V-stitch and chain three. You're going to place six more double crochet into that same space. Counting that first chain, I have two double crochet, three, four, five, six, so a total of seven double crochet into my first V-stitch. 
Here we are for that chain five, and we want to make sure and anchor that with a single crochet into that fourth double crochet. Then move on to your next V-stitch and place seven double crochet. Three for me, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into that chain three, and then place another shell into your next V-stitch. And just continue in this fashion all the way around. And at the end, I will show you how mine is looking and we can slip stitch and move on from there. So this is what round six looks like for me. And as you see, our next round will be our V-stitch framework round. And here on the sides, you see we have two single crochets now. So we'll have two V-stitches. So these will just continue growing as your blanket gets bigger. And over here is our corner spaces and single crochets and those will always remain the same no matter how big our blanket gets. To begin round seven, you want to do your chain four. One, two, three, four. Then double crochet back into that last single crochet. So there's our first V-stitch. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Go over to our next single crochet, place a V-stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Here we are at our corner, so that's a V-stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and another V stitch into the same space. So just continue this all the way around and place your double V stitches into the corners and two V stitches in each one of the single crochets on the sides. So just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. At the end of round seven, here's my work. And as you see, I just have one V-stitch in each one of my side single crochets. And then of course, my double V-stitches in the corners. To begin round eight, slip stitch into the center of your first V-stitch and chain three. Place six double crochet into that same space. Now, just like we have previously, we're going to anchor each one of our chain fives with a single crochet into that fourth double crochet of the previous shell. Now here I am at another V-stitch, so seven more double crochets. There I have three. six and seven and anchoring again with another single crochet when you get to your corner you're going to place your seven double crochet in each one of your v-stitches and then place a single crochet in that chain three space continue in this fashion all the way around and i will meet back up with you at the end of this round here I have completed row eight of my beautiful shells blanket. And from here, I'm just going to let you complete your blanket. Just remember, you only have two repeating rows, your framework round, which is your V-stitches, and your shell round. So the next round, of course, will be your V-stitches or framework round. 
Then you're going to place one v-stitch into each one of your single crochets on the sides and each corner will have a v-stitch, a chain three, and a v-stitch. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it answered some of your questions on how to crochet a beautiful shells blanket in one color. Thank you also for taking the time to comment. I truly enjoy hearing from you and please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that today. Have a lovely crochet day and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!